Hey, it's Paul from paulsilly.com and today I'm going to talk about Apple, Apple computer. Uh, I started out as, as a PC guy and in the 90s I made tons of computers. I owned a computer about every six months. I'd buy all the parts, I'd make a computer and then I'd sell it. And I'd buy in all the parts, make a new computer and sell it six months later. And that way I always had the hottest, fastest computer. And it was about 2009 when one of my friends was giving me a bunch of crap and he said, hey, you know, you travel a lot, you know, you're out there a lot. Why don't you get a Mac? You know, why don't you get a Mac? And because they're really great for traveling, they're very powerful machines. And so I bought a Mac, I got a Mac, and uh, that, that was like a change in my life because that MacBook Pro was such a beast. It was, had an awesome battery, it was a powerful machine, I could edit videos. A lot of people say that people that like Macs, Win I sorry, like Windows, I, sorry, Macs, Apples, are like kind of pretty boys, and they like this. They're stupid. They buy because you know marketing or something. That is such a bunch of BS. The people that really like Macs, the real, the real fans of Mac, are the hardcore guys who are editing videos, graphic designers, people that are on the run. They're often independent contractors. They're on the road. They need a heavy battery. They need a very strong case, and they need something that you know, like the OS is awesome, so it works. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't shut down all the time, so you lose all your work, right? And so this, this, I got this MacBook Pro, and I was like, man, I'll never get anything else. This is it, man. Mac for life, right? And I, I'm recording right now with an iPhone 6s Plus, right? And so I was all Mac all the time, right? But uh, you know something, Mac Windows is catching up. Man. And Mac, Mac messed up, if you ask me. They, they made their last redesign with almost 10 years ago when they came out with the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Airs then after that. These, and now, they've had the same design for almost 10 years. And, you know, you can't, you can't rest these days. You gotta focus, you gotta move forward fast. Right? Apple waited 10 years, and you know what? They waited too long. There's a company right now called Xiaomi, X-I-A-O-M-I. Uh, and this company is going for the jugular with the Macs. They're making a MacBook Pro competitor for $455. It's gonna come out probably July 16th is what I heard. It's early July now. I heard it's like 16th, it's gonna be soon. So it's within the next month or so. Cause they've already, they've already got orders for over a million uh, machines uh, in the factories I heard. And they're going for it. And they're gonna make a MacBook Pro with a great battery, with an all aluminum case, and they're gonna to try to do it for a third of the price of a MacBook Pro. So basically, Mac had the lead they could have never lost. They were so far in front, man. And then they wait 10 years. Well, what happens in 10 years, man? It's like barbarians at the gate now. You, you got some nice Asus computers. Windows is even catching up. I mean, Windows, like 10 years ago, Windows was such a joke, man. It's like, are you kidding me, Windows? And then they lost the education market to, to Google Chrome. Now the Google Chrome market, Google Chrome has the education market down pat. They're, they've nailed the education market. I don't know what it is, it's about 80%. And two out of the top three laptops on Amazon right now, no, no, sorry, two years ago, it's more now, two years ago, Two out of the three top laptops are Google Chrome now because Google Chrome is super cheap and Apple said, wow, no one will ever buy Google Chrome. You can't even run software on it, right? What the heck are you going to do with Google Chrome, right? Well, what happens is people's tastes change. And, you know, like just like fast fashion, you know, 50 years ago, nobody thought that anybody would buy clothes and throw them away. Everything was about French clothes, it was about long term, it was about a long, you know, cashmere coat that you would keep for years, and it was all about storage, it was all about taking care of it, you know, and it was about the, the classics. That was that was what fashion was about when I was growing up. I'm 51. When I was growing up, it was all about the classics, if you wanted to be fashionable, right? And something changed. People now, they don't care. They'll buy H&M, they'll walk into a new city. I got tons of friends. I mean, they're loaded with cash, and they'll run in the city, and I, you know, it cools down. They'll just go buy a jacket, whatever, you know, some fast fashion place. Uh, was it uh, Vera, or whatever? You know, they'll just buy something, right? And and the consumer taste change, and same thing with the education market. Consumer taste change, and the cheap Google Chromebooks 
killed Apple, and it seems like Apple didn't even put up a fight. I mean, they got murdered, and they didn't even put up a fight. And in fact, they don't even, I think Apple doesn't even admit they lost yet. Like, it's, it's like, they're gutted. They lost the education market. And now, even with the phones, the cameras, you know, if you look at, if you compare HTC and Huawei, that has the dual uh, Carl Zeiss lens, I mean, they're already better than uh, the iPhone 6S Plus. And six months ago, nobody would have ever guess that anybody would ever pass Apple because Apple has the most money. It's one of the biggest companies in the world. You know, it goes up and down from biggest to second to third. It's right up there. And they took their eye off the ball. So now you got cameras are not top. And that was the key thing that, app, that, that uh, iPhones are all about, cameras. Then you have the MacBook Pro, which is a workhorse. It's mobile. It's tough. It's a workhorse. You can do hardcore computing, you know, in Starbucks on this thing. You could, I can edit up like a full-on 4K video, and you know, all this kind of stuff. That's stuff that you can't do on a, on a, on a uh, uh, you couldn't do on a Windows machine because the battery was like so short. It only lasts like two or three hours when you're doing heavy computing. But man, they they took it right off the ball. And meanwhile, the the uh, the barbarians came in, man, and they're taking over now. And uh, I don't know if Apple can come back. I, I really don't know. You know, I, I can say this. I, I remember when Japan was number one. I went to Japan when they were number one. It was in the 80s. I went over, I was studying Japanese, uh, and I headed over to Japan. And at that time, one thing a lot of people don't know is that NEC was the world's largest semiconductor maker. And I don't know if you know anything about semiconductors, but a semiconductor is the, is the, it's the absolute it's the absolute heart of the computer business. So if you have semiconductor business, everybody has to come to you to talk about it. The reason why Apple's late with their latest MacBook Pro is partly because Intel was slow on updating it in a way that, that Mac OS could use it properly. And so the chip was the key thing. Everybody's like waiting for the chip guy to get everything right and then to share information with them so that they can make the latest product around the chip because the chip is the key part of the business. So when Japan lost the chip business, when NEC lost the chip business, and then when they tried to make some kind of company called, they, they, they had a bunch of small chip companies and they all tried to merge and the government put a bunch of money in, this is all Japan. They lost it all, they got killed in the chip market. Once they lost the chip market, you could say sayonara to the rest of their electronics business. And that's what happened. Hitachi, NEC, Toshiba, National, these are all Panasonic. They are all ghosts of their former selves. They're, they're gutted, okay, they're gutted. There is no electronics, uh, consumer electronics uh, thing left in Japan. And it's all started with that chip when they lost that chip to Intel. And that was the key thing. And now China's got a chip. China has the world's fastest supercomputer now, by far. I don't remember the exact uh, petaflops, but it's really fast, okay? And guess what? It's 100% Chinese chips. So we're in a fight for our lives here. It's the chip business, is the key of the, 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 the uh, electronics business, and there's always a key business in everything. There's a key aspect of every business. iPhones, it's the, it's the, it's the uh, camera, right? MacBook Pro, it's, it's a mix of like mobile workhorse, right? And if you don't give people what they want, they're gonna get it some other way. They're gonna get it some other way. And I'm afraid, because I want Apple to succeed. I actually wanted Windows to succeed too, because I like competition. It's nice when two American companies are doing well. I mean, it's great, I, you know, they, it's, it's nice to have two American companies. Because when a Chinese company takes over with the chips, we're not gonna know if the government, which demands a back door to all these companies in China, is gonna have a back door to our computer, right? Which I don't like that risk, personally. I don't like that risk. So I'd rather have an American company. Uh, and uh, you can say anything about the NSA you want, but I know the difference. China is a different deal. I'd rather not have the Chinese government have the chip that is watching me, right? Uh, so either way, there you go. Focus on your core market. Think about what you offer, whether it's to your wife, your husband, your business, your children. You have a core business in every area of your life with your friends. You offer a core service to your friends. Either it's listening to their problems, it's supporting them, it's motivating them, it's doing sports together, whatever it is. Don't take your eye off the ball these things. Because otherwise somebody will replace you. You gotta focus on the thing that, that people want from you. Right? I'm trying to make a video a day because I know people like my videos. So here I am, nighttime. I don't wanna make this video, I wanted to walk home. 
I just heard some bad news. One of my friends is, is dying in Singapore. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm on my way home and I thought, you know what, I'm going to shoot this video anyway. Because I know that people want to see my videos. It's, it's, it's one of my core things right now. And so I'm going to make it. And here I am making it right here. So Bangkok, Paul Salo from paulsalo.com. If you enjoy these videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, take what you like and leave the rest. We've got a lot of different topics here. And we're going to come at you. I'm going to come at you with another video tomorrow. Uh, so look for it. Thanks for watching.